Okay, hello, welcome to this, another one of these Opera Hangouts, you know what I mean? The Opera Opera browser goes this wide, whereas Chrome goes that wide. But I didn't switch over to the Chrome, so I'm just on this, so it's more, these Hangouts are more like a radio show anyway than an audio. What are you looking at me? And I got the beer. Okay, so we were in Texas last week, end of 2018, and we bought Bush Ice. I got Bush Ice, and uh, I think my friend David bought some too. It's um, a budget product. Uh, it's a 25 ounce can. I had a special like two for three dollars. I bought it. It's not a great deal. It's a good deal. It's not a great deal. I can go to racetrack right here in this town on U.S. Highway 61, and I can buy uh, Milwaukee's Best Ice, fresh too, I mean fresh, two, do, two quart cans, you heard, you heard me, two quart cans for two seventy five. best bargain on the planet right now, I guess, uh, but Bush Ice is fine, uh, this can is not the freshest, uh, it's not old but it's not it's it's okay it does have the date guys let's see hmm. it's around mid September it's pretty much at the end of its freshness run. Uh, it does get a little dead note in it, like my friend David talks about. It'll get a dead note in it when it's not super fresh. Now, if you get it a, a month or less out from the canning, canning, and they do make bottles, but try to find one. It'll be awesome. So if this was a week old or two weeks old, three weeks old, it would be fabulous. If it was on draft, and how are you going to find bush ice on draft? But they... Apparently it exists. Apparently it exists. It would be fabulous, but it's it's still okay. But it, remember, it has that dead note, so we can only give it a B plus. We can't go with an A. And that's what I was telling him at the convenience store. I was saying it's not super fresh. He was like, you know, you're 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 making a big deal. You, like he was telling me, you're going overboard. You're going overboard about that. My contention was I'm not going overboard, but you know, I wasn't gonna argue about it. So I just. I bought it. I mean, it's serviceable at this point. Uh, looking on tap into your beer it has a rich, smooth taste with exceptional drinkability. It's rich. It would be richer if it was fresh. Okay. My advice: don't age these beers. They're not made for aging. You want to age a beer? Get something that's eight percent or higher, preferably ten percent or higher, and a slightly sweet finish. Uh, we know about the ice process. They freeze the beer and they filter out the crystals. In other words, they take the water out and concentrate the alcohol. 5.9% alcohol, 136 calories. Low calorie beer, you know, relatively low calorie beer, high alcohol. So you get the best of both, poss both possible worlds. Ingredients, water is the first ingredient. 98% of the beer is water. We know that. Corn, corn, what kind of corn? Corn grits, uh, more likely corn syrup, the brewer's syrup, dextrose syrup, it says right there, dextrose syrup and or rice. Rice, okay. Barley malt, hops, okay, hop extract and malt extract. So it's a, li a little bit of a, a chemistry experiment here, but uh, it's, uh, it's okay. Um, where was this produced? I'm thinking Houston, since we bought it in Texas, but I could be wrong. Um, No, it's telling me VE0451, VE. Hmm. Isn't there a Virginia uh, Anheuser-Busch facility? I don't know. Could look that up, doesn't matter. Uh, contact us. I don't wanna contact you guys. You can become a Zithology expert expert if you get on their website. Zithology is to beer what analogy is to wine. Types of beer, history of beer, brewing processes, beer processes, beer styles, blah, 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 blah. 
If you've got time, read it. You'll learn, maybe. <laughs> you can learn. You can learn by reading. Did you know that? All right. I'm not calling you people. I just want your website, baby. Where's your link? Okay. www.anthurbush.com. Yeah, okay. Google search. I don't really want to do a Google search. Our beers. Bush Ice. Introduced in 1995. Blah, blah, blah. Ice beer process. Same thing. Find the store. I checked here. And you know it's not available here. Consumer, inf consumer information. This website's from 2017, it says. Okay. Mm. Tap into your beer. It linked me back to that. If you get on the bush.com website, it'll give you a link to anheuserbusch.com. Yeah, it's got a dead note with the um, age on it. And it's not a... It's not a great age. It's at, Like I said, it's at the end of the freshness, the 110 days. But it fades. It fades. You say, ah, it's lager. That's like macro lager. Yeah, I don't know. I know what it is. I'm drinking it. But it does fade. Perfect beer to go with Slim Jims and a Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos says D5, D5, D squared 91. I don't I don't quite understand that. People use that terminology. Yeah, it would be good for like a Morton's pot pie or going to Sonic and getting the chili dogs. It's basic, okay? Basic. You're not going to go to a dinner party and bring bush ice. You go to a picnic and bring bush ice, okay? You go to a dinner party, bring Michelob. You know, because weekends were made for Michelob. All right, home, bush, and as a bush. Newsroom, no, better world, about. Okay, let's go about. Brewing process. Let's see their breweries. Williamsburg, Virginia. Okay. Hmm. Maybe they will wholesaler and packaging. Okay. Let's try this. Just giving us their, their, uh, where they package things, where they buy their glass. Nice to know, but it's not helping me with this. All right. Longhorn Glass, right? That's a glass company in Texas that they created for their own glasses. You know, beer, glass. Here we go. Brewing process. Quality comes first. Every package, every time, quality always. Hand selected barley from more than 2,000 barley fields. All right. Malt. They have their own malt companies. Bonners Ferry, Idaho, and the Halatal region of Germany. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. Rice. Anna, Anheuser Busch is the largest rice buyer in the USA. And we even mill some of our supply at a company-owned facility in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Yes, I've been to Jonesboro. Huh, fascinating. Fascinating. Frequently asked questions. This might give me the answer I need. Okay, saying they opened this Virginia facility in 1972. Doesn't say they produced bush ice, though. Hmm, hurricane malt liquor. 
Jeff Scott is the general manager. He, gets, he has a bachelor's of science in chemical engineering from Florida State. Jennifer Logan is the brewmaster, BS in industrial and systems engineering from Georgia Institute of Technology, Georgia Tech. Yeah, look, people, if you want a job in a brewery and you want to make money, you better go get a bachelor's degree in science. You want to make a little bit of money, you know what I mean, and not make money, then go work for a little independent craft brewery and get you a little 35000 a year with no benefits. Brian Sullivan, general manager, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. Okay, Nicholas O'Frady, Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, University of Michigan. See what I mean? You say, well, they're a macro company. That's right, right. You wanna work for big people? You better get a degree. Tattoos ain't gonna, you know what I mean? Tattoos ain't gonna cut it. Let me go. You say, but I got tattoos and I got a ear hole. Good. You better get a degree. Open in 1983, Baldwinsville. Brian Sullivan. Oh, I just did that. Okay, Baldwinsville. Cartersville, Georgia. Bush, Bush Ice, okay. All right, Georgia, okay. Okay. Kevin Farenkrog. Bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from University of Missouri, science and technology. See, he went to college. University of Missouri, science and technology. He's been working for Anheuser Bush for 30 years. In other words, don't be lazy. Christy Davenport, she's the brewmaster. She went to Virginia Tech degree, chemical engineering. She's from New Jersey. Get the point? Josh Sebeck, general manager, BS, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering from Ross, Rose Holman Institute of Technology. I'm not familiar with that. My favorite beer, Budweiser is my go-to, but there are so many beers that I enjoy. Natalie Johnson, senior brewmaster, Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry from Fisk, uh, Fisk University, yes, in Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee, I believe. My favorite beer, Bud Light. <laughs> That's everybody's favorite beer, except for me. You know, in America, I'm talking about Louisiana, it's Bud Light. Hmm. Just going this real fast. Baldwinsville, New York. His favorite beer is Budweiser. Ha, ha, ha. Bud Light because it's good in any situation, any meal, any party, any reason, any season. It's always refreshing. Well, there's no doubt about that. I drank it at Bingo, never anywhere else. Okay. Cartersville. Budweiser and Shock Top. Okay. Budweiser and, oh yeah, Bud Light, okay. Now let's go to Los Angeles and Newark. You say, this is a boring video. It's boring to learn. You find it boring to learn things. Ah, uh, hell, this is old info. Y'all need to update your website, and I was a bush info. 
Brands produced in Los Angeles. Black Crown, yeah, uh huh. They haven't made Black Crown for years. Van Eyes. Uh oh, that's L.A. 1954. It's been open for 65 years. Eric Gutierrez. He has a bachelor's of science in mechanical engineering from Colorado State University. A master's of business administration from Florida State. Once again, you want to make it, you better earn it. Kevin Towner, BS, Mechanical Engineering, California Polytech, Pomona. Cal Poly Pomona. See, you want it, you got to earn it. You want to be lazy, play video games, smoke marijuana, do nothing all day? Good. Then do that. But you won't make it. I mean, you'll make it. You might work at uh, 7 Eleven. I'm sorry, but I mean, I'm talking about, you know, making it. Degree in Information Technology from RIT. What is RIT? Oh, Rochester Institute of Technology. Right. That's an expensive school. Oh, I forgot to do the favorite beers. Sorry. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. You know they're not going to say Miller High Life, right? You won't see them on the website anymore. Bud Light. Budweiser. Well, you know, I mean, they can't be. I mean, you're working for Anheuser Busch. What are you going to say? They are. They are. They're like me. Now this guy's like me. He he's like, kind of crafty with his answer. There are many beers that I'll enjoy on different occasions, but Budweiser is perfect for any occasion, and nothing can beat the quality of a nice cold Bud. Right, that's the kind of answer I would give, where you know he's thinking West Flatarian 12, <laughs> but he wants to stay employed, so he's gonna give this little, like, nuanced answer. Patrick Fagan, Bachelor of Science from St. Vincent College. Look, that's a Catholic university. Uh, been working for 22 years. My favorite beer, Budweiser. It epitomizes the hard work and dedication to quality that, that made it the king of beers. Yeah, well, you didn't write that. All right. Newark, New Jersey. Now, would I rather drink Budweiser or Bush Ice? Well, I mean, I'd rather drink Budweiser, I think. It's a better beer. I think we all know that. But uh, you're not going to get Budweiser two 25 ounce cans for three dollars. But uh, you go back and watch my video. Budweiser is the greatest beer in the world, and I gave reasons for saying that. Okay, Newark, Newark, New Jersey, Highway One. Yes, I've been on U.S. Highway One. It's been open for 68 years. Incredible. He's got a degree in information technology from oh. Sorry. Williamsburg, Virginia, and Fairfield, California. Let's see who we have in Williamsburg. Jeff Scott. Black Crown. Yeah, right. Which went back in a time machine and made it. Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering from Florida State University. Jennifer. Bachelor of Science in Industrial and Systems Engineering from Georgia Tech. Y'all get the pattern there? You, you picking up on the pattern? Fairfield, California. Carl Belshus. Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering from Georgia Tech. Master of Science from Georgia Tech. Same degree. Chemical Mechanical Engineering. Right. Narissa. Seraphim, Seraphim, she an angel? She's the brewmaster and she has a Bachelor of Science from University of Delaware. Oh. Fort Collins, Colorado, Jean Bosis. Bachelor of Science from Engineering, Technology, Electrical Engineering, Master of Science in Management. He doesn't say where. 
uh oh, might be one of those uh, online universities, you know, Anheuser-Busch hiring, but they don't want to necessarily mention. Uh, oh, I bet you I know where it is. They're not listing it. I bet you it's from uh, ITT Tech, right? <laughs> oh well, okay, yeah, you can go to. You can't go to ITT Tech anymore. They went out of business. Oh my gosh. If they don't list the if they don't list the university, there's a reason for that. You know what I'm talking about? My favorite beer, Michelob Ultra. Michelob Ultra. Okay. Hey, that's your yeah. <laughs> sure, I bet it. I bet it is. Let's see here. <laughs> this is comical. Michelob Ultra. The King Budweiser. It is hard to be. Oh, Stella. He says Budweiser, Michelob Ultra, and Stella Artois. Okay, fine. Sure. Houston, Texas, 1966. But their original brewery was in 1893, y'all. Y'all. Peter Roberts, Bachelor of Science. In electrical and electronic engineering, no, no university listed. Well, there, there you go. There's your answer. My favorite beer, Budweiser. No explanation. Uh huh. Okay. Sound like somebody's uh, being perfunctory. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Systems and Engineering from Virginia Tech. Okay, Jeff Jones. There is no other beer in the world that is brewed as consistently and with with as much care and quality as Budweiser. Now, that's probably true. Jacksonville, Florida. Craig Tomeo, bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from University of Dayton. Ah, oh, the Dayton Flyers. My favorite beer, Bud, is my favorite because it's balanced, slightly malty with a crisp finish, good body, and has great consistency. That's true. Whoops, I forgot to get the other guy. Carl Bell, Bell Schuss. Carl Bell Schuss. Oh, yeah, Georgia Tech. That's right. Budweiser is without question my favorite beer. I enjoy all tasting styles of beer. However, I find my way back to a refreshing Budweiser. People ask me, if you were on a desert island, what would be the only beer? You'd, if you could only have one beer, what would it be? Probably be Budweiser. All right. Just saying. Merrimack, New Jersey, 1970. Okay. Tom Joker's Joker. Hi, Joker. Uh oh, another Missouri Science and Technology. Uh oh. My favorite beer, Budweiser. When you say Budweiser, you said it all. Yep. That's right. That's what a lot of people said in uh 1976. Summer Anderson, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering from Purdue. She's from Canada. Uh-oh. We got a, a British Commonwealth uh, lady here. Michelob Ultra is my favorite. Yeah, it's kind of a girl beer, really. That's sexist. Yeah, it's true, too. St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, Bazam. The big boy. Jim Bickline, he's been working for Anheuser Bush for 31 years. I've worked in all 12 of our breweries. My favorite beer, Budweiser, no explanation given. Okay. Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, no university given. That tells us more than if they didn't tell us. Travis Moore. Batch, he's a senior brewmaster. Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology from the University of Georgia. Okay, Bulldogs, you're a good team. 
in football unless you play Texas and that little uh, and that Longhorn bull charges you little pet. <sighs> oh me. My favorite beer is undoubtedly Budweiser. Let's see what this guy says. Drinking a Budweiser is an exhilarating experience due to the extreme focus on quality from everyone involved. Well, I would say it's an enjoyable experience. I don't know about exhilarating. The focus on making every single Budweiser starts at the growth and sourcing of the best raw materials in the world, the unwavering quality focus and the passionate art of brewing that goes into every batch, and the world-class consistency during packaging of every single container of beer that of beer makes this the best beer in the world, says Travis Moore. Would you swear under oath that you wrote that? All right, anyway, blah, 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 blah. Very interesting. Well, <laughs> what have we learned? Well, if you get on the Anheuser Busch website, all the brewmasters and, and general managers will tell you that their favorite beer is an Anheuser Busch InBev brand, which uh, makes sense because discretion is a better part of valor. Um, Bush Ice, is it the world's greatest beer? Not by any stretch of the imagination. Is it comp is it a is it a competent beer? Yes. Is it worth buying for two tall cans for three dollars? Yes. Is it something to brag about? Uh, no. Can it stand up to Budweiser? Uh, no. What we can say about it, it's very good and it's tolerable as a cheap beer. But then if you went around telling everybody that's a cheap beer, you would be telling people what they already knew. So live from Louisiana at the Office of Redundancy Office, this is the Bush Ice Review <laughs> for the 1400th time. All right. Well, anyway, um, yeah, you know, uh, it is what it is. And what it is, is it's not bad. And I agree with D squared 91. He says it's a perfect beer to go with Slim Jims and a hot and hot Cheetos. Or some Chiwis, some Chiwis. And if you're from New Orleans, you know what Chiwis are all about. Thanks for watching this video production.